Do you ever feel embarrassed or self-conscious when interacting with others? The feeling that you're not good enough and they are judging you, even if they're not. Do you worry sometimes more than necessary about what people think of you and find yourself imagining negative scenarios occurring in your interaction with them? These days, people often struggle with social anxiety and shyness. The latter is a tendency to be nervous or uncomfortable around other people, while the former is a fear of being around people in general. Friendships can suffer, careers can be stalled, and life in general can get pretty hard when it's so easy to avoid interacting with others at all. Want to know how to overcome these feelings? In this video, we will talk about some ways you might overcome these quite common problems. What is shyness and social anxiety? Shyness and social anxiety are often confused with one another. Shyness is the feeling of apprehension, embarrassment or shame that most people experience when they are in a social situation. It can be characterized by feelings of fear, worry, or concern about one's self-presentation to others. Shyness may also be seen as a personality trait that has a variety of causes, ranging from personal experiences and upbringing to cognitive biases. Shyness is usually considered an undesirable state because it can make it difficult for people to form meaningful relationships or take risks in life. Social anxiety is a more generalized fear of social situations. This type of anxiety can be triggered by specific events such as public speaking or being required to interact with unfamiliar people, but it can also be more generalized and cause feelings of anxiety in many different situations. Social anxiety is a more intense form of shyness that can cause sufferers to avoid social interactions altogether. The intense fear and discomfort experienced by those with social anxiety can lead to panic attacks, depression, and other mental illnesses. The difference between shyness and social anxiety is that shyness often is associated with the anticipation or experience of negative evaluation, whereas social anxiety is associated with more significant fears of embarrassment, humiliation and slash or rejection that lead to avoidance. What causes shyness? There is no clear-cut answer for the causes of shyness, but there are many factors that may contribute to it. There are also many professionals who help with treatment options. Some people may be genetically predisposed to shyness because of a family history or health condition, such as low thyroid levels. Others may have been bullied in the past and are recovering from the consequences of this experience. Some may have been rejected by their peers for a reason and feel unsafe. Many more children may be feeling the pressure of what we call the school system and how it is designed to create performance through high stakes testing. Overcoming shyness and social anxiety. Shyness and social anxiety are common phenomena. Some people are so shy that they can't hold a conversation with a stranger, let alone talk to someone they like. The human brain is wired in such a way that it uses the amygdala to do the heavy lifting when it comes to processing emotions, which can make it hard for shy or socially anxious people to feel comfortable and confident around others. Many people who suffer from social anxiety and shyness often stay in the background, feeling that their contributions are not valued, they may be afraid of being judged or embarrassed by others. The good news is that there are many ways you can overcome shyness and social anxiety. The first step to overcoming shyness and social anxiety is to accept that you are feeling this way. Once you have accepted it, the next step is to try and figure out the root cause of your feelings. There are many ways to overcome shyness and social anxiety including 1. Stop comparing yourself to others. Comparing yourself to others is a common trap many people fall into. People will often assess themselves based on someone else's success, appearance or experiences. There is no one else in the world who has your thoughts and feelings. You are different from everyone else. 2. Practicing public speaking is another way. Practicing public speaking is another way that you can prepare you for overcoming your shyness and social anxiety. Practice in front of a mirror, in front of the family pet or your co-workers. Start with the easiest thing you can think of and work your way up to more difficult topics. Work on your posture, breathing and speaking technique. If you are uncomfortable with public speaking, try volunteering to give a speech at a local charity fundraising event 
or presenting in front of board meetings for your company. 3. Talk with a therapist. Talking to a therapist can be hard for shy or socially anxious people trying to ask for help, so it's important that they have access to a therapist who is trained in treating these issues. Online therapy can provide this and many other benefits as well. 4. Identifying triggers for your feelings. Identifying triggers for your feelings can help you avoid feeling that way in the future. When you are aware of what sets you off, it will be easier to avoid these situations and therefore avoid the negative feelings associated with them. Conclusion. Overcoming shyness and social anxiety is a journey that takes time. It takes a lot of patience and practice to get better at it. It may seem hard at first, but with these tips, you can start becoming more confident in your everyday life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on the like and subscribe button to support our channel so we can continue making more of these videos.